What's up YouTube? I just picked up this new uh, Echelon Connect Sport bike and I wanted to show kind of how I solved uh, getting a better, I guess, display using my phone on the bike itself. So I found on Amazon uh, this car mount actually and you stick it onto the kind of the stem there in the middle of the bike. Uh, I attached it here with a zip tie as well, but I don't think that was necessary. Um, and this mount magnetically attaches to a new iPhone 12 or 12 Max um, and allows you to kind of see the phone and see the stats of your bike without having to worry about it getting onto the iPad. So this mount cost uh, $18.99 when I bought it in February of 2021. The mount itself uh, comes in a small box. They have a few different models. Uh, I'll link in the description below to the one that I got, but uh, it also comes with a metal disc so that if you have an older phone with a case, you can uh, put that metal disc in there and it'll still attach. Um, and so it's a nice clean look. This this thing sort of bends around 360 degrees. You can kind of aim it in whatever direction you'd like, whether you want the phone in you know, her, um, horizontal or vertical mode. And then when you're biking, uh, the other piece that I solved with this was that the app from Echelon just sucks. So this thing just constantly is changing background as you're going. Um, it's super distracting. And so I found this other really interesting app called Qdomo Swift. Uh, it's made by this, this developer in uh, Italy and it basically connects directly to the bike's Bluetooth. And so as you adjust resistance up and down, you get all the same stats on the display and you can really change exactly what you uh, want to see on that display. So there's a whole settings menu where you can turn on and off kind of all the different uh, individual stats for what you, you know, care about and what, what you want to see. Um, and it's been amazing for me. So loved sort of the ability to have this, uh, lifts the phone just off the handlebars so you're not knocking into it, knocking it over. Uh, I tend to go horizontal, but kind of whatever you're into. Uh, and for me, kind of between these two things, it's dramatically improved the experience. And for a $500 bike, uh, it's been exactly what I've wanted.